Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Final Fantasy Revex this video and I'm gonna be trying something new today. Uh, the, re the normal review for Final Fantasy 2 will be tomorrow, but today we're gonna be reviewing the, f the card. The card everybody's talking about, the, um, the, the card that's coming, the bait card basically. Um, so we're going to be talking about how, how good it is. Uh, I'm going to be giving it a score just like I do every other unit. Uh, it's been a little harder to break it down completely, like bits and pieces, but I'm dissecting it as much as possible. I'm going to go in depth on, on units that is good for at the end. So stay tuned for the entire video. Anyways, let's get into the review. So we've got Dazzling Demons here. I, already I, I don't like hyping up things too much. You guys know that I'm just I'm, not, I'm I'm boring in that way I guess for most of you guys that I know you guys like this I have hype hype everything hype up um, I've noticed but I'm I'm someone who's uh, you know not really hyping up everything but this is one time I think it's worth the hype so 100% magic and MP most likely you're gonna be capped with the 100% magic and in, in, uh, increase and on top of that 500 flat magic and MP like it, if it was just magic alone, it would be pretty good, but the addition of MP just makes it like way, way better, way better. On top of that, the next one, you don't really care. Well, yeah, you do care about the physical part because there are magic asterisk attacks. So 100% aquatic and insect killer. That's just, that's bonkers. On top of that, 50% MP reduction. That's just crazy. That's super crazy. <laughs> And on top of that, for FFB units only, you get 500. You get another cap. So most units nowadays are going to be 600% cap if they're FFB units equipped with this. Plus 200% magic TDH. So we're going to be going over a lot of units that will instantly uh, do that, uh, benefit from that. And here's the first point: a lot of FFB units upcoming, and also ones that are already in the pool, will be able to have 400% magic TDH. And on top of that, 600% cap with this card. Bonkers. And the first two, even if you don't use a for an FFB unit, you still get 500 flat magic and MP, and you still get 100% aquatic killer and insect killer, and also the MP reduction. Aquatic killer, for sure. Future mages and beyond might be using this card instead of their own, which is insane. Because there are some good cards coming out, but this one's way better than any of those other ones. And the MP is going to be really nice for upcoming trials that are um, heavy MP costs or the boss trains your MP away and stuff like that so it's kind of annoying so that's in essence it's just really good let's go over some cons got some FOMO it's pretty obvious once this banner goes away you won't be able to get this card ever again uh, most likely you can come back to this video if it, if it ever comes back and they'll do like a you know, a, like a celebration banner where they have all the cards in one banner or something. I'm sure they'll do something like that eventually. But for right now, as of this video, this is the only time you're going to be able to get it. Once the banner goes away, it's gone forever. As of, as, as of now. Obviously, this is the biggest bait I've ever seen in, 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 in almost the game's history uh, in terms of this before the anniversary. So we got to keep that in mind. And there's nothing else. It's the card. The card is so good. The card is so good, guys. So... There's no way I can go any lower than a 9.5, and it's taking. I'm doing. I'm taking a point off to be fair, or a, a point five off to be fair because it's locked FFB at the end. But it's 9.5 out of 10. Like the card is definitely the best card that they've ever made so far as of this video. Better than any of the other ones that they've made. Not, not not to say that the other ones aren't good. They're good, but this one is like top of the line. Olympic gold medal winner. I don't know what else to describe it as. Just, it's bringing home the bacon. So, 9.5 for this card, easily. I didn't even have to think hard about that. It was just, I, I knew it was gonna take up a point, or like a half a point, because of the FFV restriction, but that was kind of to be expected, because if this was unrestricted in all categories, this would be the best card of all time. Who cares about anything else that's coming out, right? So there had to be a small restriction, but I still gotta take a, a small point. You gotta be fair in some way. Uh, because I don't really get, I don't really, I pride myself of not getting uh, a lot of stuff 10s. And some of you might be saying you should just give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, I don't want to throw out 10s in every unit. And I haven't given out a 10 out of 10 
There's only, there's only been, I think there's only been one or two. I think there's only been one. Maybe there's been two, but because I've done a lot of reviews now, it's kind of hard to keep track. But for those of you who have been keeping track and care enough about my scores, I'm pretty confident at least I can say I've only done one 10 out of 10. So with that being said, 9.5, amazing card. Now, if you don't have a lot of resources, you can't even do the whole step up. You probably shouldn't be worrying about this. I know it kind of sucks to hear that, but if you don't have enough lapis going to the anniversary to do even do one st one lap, uh, you probably should skip. I know it kind of sucks, but uh, yeah. So, mages, this will be good for. Small list. Current mages, Tiana. I know she's limited, but she would love this card way better than her current card, which is... Uh, not really that great. Uh, so that she would she would love this card for sure. Dark Rain. I think this rain, this card is theoretically better than than Dark Rain's. Yes, Dark Rain has the little burst damage on it, but this allows you to have many more slots available. So you could just get the little burst damage anyways. So this is this is far better in that regard, and also it allows him to be TDH. Uh, the the Ashura, the Ashura um, Komodo Dark Phoenix coming up has is a whip. And it has 2% TDH tied to it. I still wish I had it on my JP account. I still don't have her. I have enough shards to get her to EX2. Don't have her. So, I still don't know if the TDH Dark Rain on Global would be better than the True Jewel build because of how much magic, flat magic he has with those two spears. So we'll have to, we'll have to see what, how that goes. Uh, Roberta, with a TDH build, TDH build is a little hard to do, but... Yeah, TDH build is a little hard to do on her in most cases because dual races are a thing. But with this card, it might be a little easier. So I'm going to put her in there anyways because the magic variants might make her even stronger than dual wielding her spears. Again, I don't know. The, she gets so much stat from those double spears, we don't know yet. Obviously, Ultimate Regina. She is definitely going to benefit from this with this card. She has 600% cap, 400% TDH already. So now she has a lot of access to a lot of other things like more killers. You know, she already has a lot already and things like that. New Vision Poppy or Pwn. Very good with this. Again, 400% TDH uh, and 600% cap. So she would love that. Very strong. Um, and finally, this one's kind of a little copium. Uh, Olivera. Olivera. A little, a, little bit, a little bit of copium on that. A little bit. I mean, it, has a lot of, it has a lot of MP. And you know stuff like that. So this is kind of it's kind of a because I'm not adding Fravia. We're just not going to talk about Fravia. So as much as Fravia would like this card, you could find someone else. You could find someone better to put this card on besides Fravia. So these are some mages that are either upcoming or already in the game that would love to have this card. And future mages in the, in the future, like I mentioned, will probably love to have this card as well. So anyways, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate you. 9 out of 10 again for this card if you agree with that if you if you if you're in the boat of thinking that this card should be 10 out of 10 i don't i'm not like gonna stomp on your feet i understand where you're coming from if this is card is 10 out of 10 for you that's completely fine as someone who needs to review things and not just give everything a 10 though i have to consider that and there has to be a weakness somewhere and the, the only weakness that I see is that is that restriction at the end. But it's not, like I said, it's not a big one. You see, you, there's six units right here already that benefit from this card. F really, five. Well, let's, let's just say six. It would be nice. Um, so, and I'm sure there's plenty more car bl many more um, units in the future. Neo Vision Awakenings, maybe Copium, and, you know, stuff like that. So, a lot of car a lot of units in the future are going to benefit from this. Once it, but once again, I'm going to stress this. If you don't have... 28k lapis going to the anniversary. If you have more than 28k, then you probably should pull for this. If, you, if you're if you're struggling to even get you know a, a decent amount of lapis to do one lap, you should probably should stop, and you should probably shouldn't pull for this because you have to go the whole lap to get this card. It's not like oh you know it's a random chance if I can get it or not. No, it's, it's not like an on banner unit or something. Then you have to go the whole step up to get it. And I think most of you guys know that by now. So keep in mind, <laughs> anniversary is very soon. End of, end of June-ish, July, early July-ish is when it starts. So keep that in mind, guys. It's very important to keep that in mind. Especially you guys, you free-to-play brothers and sisters out there. Uh, you need to keep in mind that. Anyways, 
Thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate you. Leave a like in the video if you like this kind of video where I review cards instead of units. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.